Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question to sum. Okay, so let me explain with this example to 11.15.7 and the target is 9. So description said each input would have exactly one solution. So that means if we check all possible pairs, so we will get the answer, right? So in this case, we have four numbers. So each number has four pairs, including uh, current number itself. So if current number is 2, so pair should be 2, 2, 2, 11, 2, 15, 2, 7. So in that case, uh, we have four numbers and uh, each number has four pairs. So 4 multiply 4 and we have 16 pairs, right? So current input is very short, but what if we have 100 numbers? So in that case, 100 multiply 100. So that means we have 10,000 pairs, right? So this time complexity should be order of n square. That is time consuming. So can we improve this time complexity to like a order of n linear time? Actually, we can do that with hash map. So let me show you how. Okay, so the formula to find the pair number is very simple. Just target minus current number. So target is fixed number, in this case 9, right? So 9. And then let's iterate through all numbers one by one. So first of all, we find 2. So that's why current number is 2. So 9 minus 2 equals 7, right? So if we have 7, so we will return uh, index pair, right? And then check a uh, hash map. So PI stands for pair index, but uh, there's no data right now. So that's why we just store current data we found. So we found the two, right? And uh, two is index zero. So key should be current number two, and the value is index number, in this case zero, right? And then move next. So we find 11. So nine minus 11 should be minus two, right? So if we f have minus two, so we can create a nine, right? 11 minus two. So in that case, we can return index pair. So that's why check a hash map, but there is no minus two, right? So in that case, we keep current data. So in that case, 11, so key should be 11 and the index number is one, right? So one, and then move next. So current number is 15 and the target number is nine. So nine minus 15 is minus six, right? So check if we have minus six in hash map, but there is no minus six. So in that case, we just keep current data. So 15 and the index number is two, right? Zero, one, two. And then move next. So we find seven. So nine minus seven should be two, right? So check if we, if we have two in hash map. So we have two, right? So, and then index zero. So that's why uh, we, we can create a target number uh, seven and two. So that's why in this case, uh, we should return current index and uh, index zero in this case. So description said we can return the answer in any order. So we can return like zero and three or three and zero. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, create a hash map. So let's say pair index, and this is hash map. And then let's iterate through all numbers one by one. So for i, so we need an index number and the current number. In So to get uh, both numbers at the same time, so we can use uh, enumerate, so enumerate, and then input array. And then if, target minus current number in pair index. So we can return um, index pairs, right? So in the case, return 
current index and the pair index and the key should be target minus current number and then if not the case we just keep current data so pair index key should be current number and the value is current index yeah so let me submit it yeah looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be order of n where n is a number of elements in the input array so that's because we iterate through all numbers one by one so that's why and the space complexity is also order of n so we use a hash map and potentially we put all numbers into hash map yeah so that's all i have for you today so please support me with your actions such as comment and hitting like button i'll see you in the next question